day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, election campaign of candidates for deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Sons of Western Armenia, Robert Abadjian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, a resolution condemning the blockade of the Berzo Road by the Baku authorities has been submitted to the U.S. Senate. Today is Monte Melconian's Memorial Day. Armenian wine has a thousand-year history, but it has never been been so fashionable LA Times. Let's support Western Armenia Television. The Election Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the 15th Zoom meeting organized within the framework of the campaign for the parliamentary elections in December 2023. The meeting will be conducted in Armenia. The topic of the meeting is the Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia. The meeting will take place on June 15, 2023 at 10 o'clock Yerevan time. Robert Abadjian was born in 1996. For exceptional courage and bravery shown while defending the Artsakh state border, the squad leader of the 2nd Rifle Platoon of the Artsakh Defense Army Force Rifle Company, Junior Sergeant Robert Abadjian was posthumously awarded the highest title of Hero of Artsakh and the Golden Eagle Order. 19 years old Robert Abadjian, who served 15 months in the Army as a Junior Sergeant, is the first person who was awarded the highest honorary title. Near the stronghold located in the northeast direction of Artsakh, numerous enemy armed forces troops twice tried to penetrate and take a position where Robert Abadjian was. Company Commander Captain Armena Gurfayan, Machine Gunners Kiaram Soloyan and Andranik Zohrabian were at the same position. Within two hours, they fought with the superior force of the enemy, till the last breath and bullet fighting for a piece of land, remaining eternal heroes who, at the cost of their lives, closed before the enemy the doors of Martagert, not allowing to come nearer to Seisulan. The enemy began shelling the position, then tanks and groups of about 300 men came to attack. The platoon leader and six men went into a circular defense. The platoon of seven men managed to push back twice and prevent the numerous enemy troops from approaching the position, managing to shut down one enemy tank in the meantime. Faced with such resistance, the enemy withdrew its forces and began firing at the position again. One of the shells exploded, killing Captain Armena Gurfayan and and machine gunner Karam Soloyan. The captain, seeing that the enemy forces were over 50 times stronger, ordered the platoon to retreat to the rear. The three managed to retreat and waited for the group approaching from behind. According to his friends, despite disciplinary problems, Robert enjoyed army life, was proud of his uniform, never taking it off when he went on leave, so that everyone could see the soldier of his country, Monument Sikyaj, as his father nicknamed him. Today, Kyaj has a new, the highest honor title, the title of Hero of Artsakh, with which his cause and name filled a new page of history, becoming for generations a vivid example of a hero of a new age who gave his life for the Mother Earth. The alphabet as a method of phonetic expression of writing was created in the middle of the 3rd millennium BC in the city of Ebla. The oldest known alphabet is the Phoenician alphabet. From the Phoenicians, writing passed to the Greeks, then to the Romans and even to Armenians. In the early Middle Ages, the Armenian, Georgian and Ahvan alphabets were created. According to Koryun, the Georgian and Ahvan alphabets were created by Mesrop Mashtot based on the Armenian alphabet. The Armenian alphabet is a phonetic character system created by Mesrop Mashtot in 405 AD, which is why the scripts are also called Mesropian or Mashtotian script. Mesrop Mashtot is the first known creator of the alphabet. Based on the ancient Armenian writing inscriptions and the testimonies of Mashtot students Korun and Movses Horenazi, it is possible to distinguish several stages of the creation of the Armenian script. At the first stage, Mashtot determined the phonetic system of spoken Armenian and then determined the number of characters for the identified sounds. He was assisted by Catholic Osahak Bartev and other learned men. In the second stage, he created the Armenian letters, 36 letters. In the third stage, Mashtot sorted the letters, determined their numerical value and gave them an appropriate name. In the fourth and final stage, he established the rules of use of the newly created Armenian letters and developed the basics of the art of writing. According to Koryun, it was for this purpose that Mashtot, together with the Greek writer Terharopanos, created the Armenian script in the city of Samosat and and then translated a passage from the Bible and wrote the first Armenian sentence, to know wisdom and education, to know the words of genius. 
The Democratic senator from California, Alex Padilla, and his Republican colleague from Florida, Marco Rubio, submitted to the USA Senate a bipartisan resolution urging the USA to increase pressure upon Bakoni authorities to stop the road blockade in Berzor. The Voice of America reports this. In his Twitter, Padilla wrote, The blockade of Artsakh by Baku authorities had deprived over 100,000 Armenians of essential goods. It is inhumane and unacceptable. It is for this reason that I have just introduced a bipartisan partisan resolution condemning the blockade and calling on the United States to take immediate action. Senator Marco Rubio also toted the resolution on Twitter. I am proud to join Senator Alex Padel in introducing a bipartisan resolution condemning Baku's blockade of the road Berzor. The U.S. must help end this humanitarian crisis. The legislative initiative, among other things, calls on the U.S. to impose sanctions on Azerbaijani officials responsible for the Berzor blockade and Armenian rights violations. And also also calls on the Biden administration to end all military assistance to the Baku authorities, fully applying the provisions of Resolution 907. June 12 is the day of remembrance of Monte Melkonyan, national hero of Armenia, hero of Artsakh, active participant in the Artsakh war, commander, lieutenant colonel of the EC Army, former member of the Armenian Secret Army of the Liberation of Armenia, active participant in the Lebanese Civil War. From May 1980, he was the chief military instructor of the Armenian Secret Army of the Liberation of Armenia, Asala. In 1983, he left Asala and founded the revolutionary movement of Asala. In October 1990, he participated in the defense of Artsakh. At the beginning of 1991, he founded the Patriot Team. In 1992, he was the commander of the Martoni Defense Zone. Under his leadership, Martoni became the safest and strongest region in Artsakh. Under his leadership, Karvajar was also liberated in March, April 1993. Monte was killed on June 12, 1993 in the village of Marzili, Martoni region. After his death, he was posthumously awarded the medals of the Republic of Armenia homeland, Golden Eagle of Artsakh Military Cross of the First Degree. In 1994, the Monte Melkonian Foundation was established in Yerevan. The Military Academy of the Ministry of Defense was named after Monte. In the city of Martun in Artsakh, there is a monument in memory of Monte Melkonian by sculptor Levon Tokmanjian. Monte Melkonian's body was buried in the Yerabul Military Pantheon. Armenian wine is ancient and yet brand new, said master winemaker Christy Canterbury, who attended Guinea Fest, a festival dedicated to Armenian wine in Los Angeles. Producers today are experimenting and are rediscovering how best to make wines, how to plant and process their vineyards. The possibilities are endless, writes the LA Times magazine. With the help of renowned peers, Armenian winemakers work with terroir to bring out the intense flavors of the grapes. Armenian's terroir relates to one of the hottest topics in the wine industry today, volcanic soils and high-altitude vineyards with a cool climate, reported certified sommelier Irina Ponomarenko. The conditions are ideal for the grapes growing in the winemaking regions of Armenia, Aragatsot, Tavush, Armavit, Ararat, Vayut, Zord, Sunik, and the Republic of Artsakh, and partially distinguish them from the wines of the Old World, produced in France, Italy, or Germany. Areni, Voskehat, and Sireni are the most popular grape varieties grown in Armenia, ranging in the age from 4,000 to 6,000 years. Armenian wine shows us grapes that are not found anywhere else in the world, grapes that are uniquely Armenian. Canterbury said, in honor of the Armenian wine tradition, each year winemakers fly from Armenia to Los Angeles to showcase their wines at Guinea Fest. Guinea Fest introduced Armenian wines to restaurants and liquor stores across the United States. Dear compatriots, the state television of Western Armenia has been operating on the online platform for many years. Here you can learn about the rich historical, cultural and political activities of Western Armenia. Our television does its best to make Armenians living in different parts of the world aware of the events taking place in our occupied homeland. Eastern Armenia, Artsakh, Javakh and also gives them the opportunity to get to know each other better and learn about defending our rights in international courts. Your support can further improve improve the efficiency and quality of our television activities. Stay tuned and we will provide you with fresh and interesting information. Remember that we do not do self-promotion. Together we can do more. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Mm -hmm. 